and welcome to Trekking Topics Today, where I provide information for your trekking journey. My name is Tony, and I am the host here on the channel. I want to welcome all of the new viewers who've uh, never been to the channel before, and hope that you would take time to like, subscribe, and share the video. It is a perfect way for you to support the channel without absolutely any cost to you. All right, so today we are going to talk a little bit about the DAP board and how you can pre-plan your loads so that you can make a little bit of uh, extra money uh, for that bottom line and uh, not waste time with empty miles. Now, you know, the DAP board is, there's a lot going on there. There's a lot of research and um, it would take several videos to go into all the tools and so forth that are on the DAP board. Uh, so today I'm just going to touch on one little tool. Uh, it, it's something that will help newer owner operators, uh, which is most of my channel. Um, it will help you guys to plan a little bit more and get into the habit of doing a little bit of research. But before that, those of you who are getting your authority or in the process or thinking about it might want to think about your ELD right now. Um, the ELDs are in short supply and there is a back order on them. So uh, if you're sure that you're going to get your authority within the next few months, I would go ahead and uh, secure that ELD just as quick as possible. Okay, you can go to freeeld.net and that will get you at least free equipment, saving you 150 bucks or so. Um, but at least it gets your name on the list so that it will be delivered to you within the next three to five weeks. Okay, it's, it's not a overnight thing. You got to Get your name on a list, get it ordered, and so that's one of the very first things that you want to do. Those of you who are looking for a little bit of time with me, you can go to TonyTime.co and have direct access to my calendar, and you uh, will have 30 minutes with me, and we'll just go over everything that it is um, you need help with or some information on. If I know the information, I'm happy to help you. Okay, those of you interested in Amazon, and there's a lot, and as you have probably found out, Amazon can be kind of tricky to get signed on with. Once you get that no from them, they do not reconsider you. I do have a service where I can help you at CarrierCheck.net. Go to CarrierCheck.net, read up on what that is. Basically, it's my guaranteed service to get you signed on to Amazon if you so desire. Lastly, for those of you looking to get your authority, samedaydot.net. Go there, start the process. You'll have your DOT number the uh, the same day or no later than the next day depending on when I get your email and I will help you through the process of getting your truck um, moving and making money. So let's talk about the DAP board. Um, I have a, uh, a tool that I want to show you, so I'm going to go ahead and get into my uh, Trucker's Edge right here. And the tool is right here on my dashboard, and this is the tool. Uh, this is National Load Counts. So this will give you guys an idea of what's going on in each state. Now, if we start up here, this is on, uh, this is showing van loads, okay? So you can also, and, and you can pick several if you want. You can, so you can say van and then vans and then other, and then this is a mixture of all of them, okay? But let's just do, uh, let's get rid of vans. Um, and let's leave other equipment in there and um, vans specialized because this might give us some better box truck information. So if you look at this, the way you read this chart is, okay, first of all, this is Alaska, Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas. This is telling you how many trucks uh, are going into Alaska and how many are coming out, okay? Uh, not a whole lot of business in Alaska. Let's go down here to Alabama. In Alabama, there's 310 trucks going in and 237 coming out. Now look at California. There's 1,270 trucks going into the state and there's 2,233 
that are leaving the state. Let me tell you what's important here, and this is the gist of the video. If you have more trucks coming out than you have coming in, like in California, so what is that? There's a, a little bit less than a thousand trucks more coming out than going in. That's telling you that there's a lot of freight here in Cali and the brokers don't have enough trucks to, uh, to uh, pull the freight. So what's going on with the rates, do you think? If you have more trucks coming out, less trucks coming in, what do you think is going to happen to the rates in California? Are they going to be higher or lower? Well, your rates are going to be higher. You're going to have more of a negotiating arm to deal with the broker because he doesn't have uh, enough trucks. He's in competition with other brokers. Okay, but let's go. Um, let's find something on the extreme here. Um, look at Florida. Okay, so Cali and Florida are always our go-to for extremes, right? Look at Florida. You've got 469 trucks going in, and this is what, girl, yay, this is Florida all the time, right? You got 469 trucks going in right now, and only 96 coming out. So what do you think? Who's in competition with who right here in Florida? Well, the carriers are. They're in competition with each other. That's why you're going to have low rates because a carrier uh, doesn't want to maybe deadhead to uh, Alabama or to Georgia for that load. They want to get something coming out, so they're going to pull cheap freight, right? So what you want to look for when you go here is look at Iowa, okay? This is what you want to look for. You want to look for that dark blue, okay? All the way over to the left. This is where you have Indiana. This is where you have negotiating power. Kansas, Kentucky, um, you know, Louisiana, uh, you know, not so much. Here, you're going to have a lot of cheap freight because uh, the brokers um, are, are not competing with each other. Uh, there the carriers are competing with each other um which means that uh you know the rates are gonna are, are gonna keep going down so this is just a quick tool you guys on the front page of your dat uh, of your uh, dat board you can get free 30-day dat uh board uh, on trucker's edge um by going to uh try dat dot net uh -huh, try dat <laughs> try dat dot net go there Sign up for a free 30-day trial and start looking at some of this stuff. I'm going to have uh, another video out in a couple of days or so about uh, other tools that you can use um, on the DAT board. Uh, but this is very simple to read uh, and start doing um, some research on. Okay, don't forget you can go up here and change the type of loads. Okay, if you just want to take out other and just have vans specialized um you know the, the stats are going to be different okay so that's it uh tell me whether or not this was uh good for you leave me a comment down below ask me any questions you would like i am very active in the comments and uh you can shoot me an email at tony at truckingtopicstoday.com if you have any questions and don't forget about the eld that i talked to you about tony time uh, .co for 30 minutes with me. Uh, Amazon guaranteed acceptance at carriercheck.net and get your DOT number. We'll help you get that too at sameday.net. Y'all be well, be safe. We'll talk to you next time.